Hi, I'm Logan Hoover. And I'm John Rodriguez. And this is your Ranger Report for Monday, November 6th. Congratulations to all orchestra students that competed in the Region Orchestra auditions this past Saturday. These students competed against some of the best orchestra students in the entire San Antonio area. Our SVHS violinists competed against 105 other violin players in the region. We were proud to announce that LaVon Obamba placed ninth violins and Anthony Cuvion was awarded concertmaster or first chair in that competition. We are extremely proud of all of our orchestra competitors for their hard work. Way to go Rangers. Teachers and students, it's that time, again, it's that time of year again for turkey feathers. Today begins the third period turkey feather donations. Each feather is 25 cents, so bring your loose change. Your third period teacher will collect donations all week. The top two third period classes that collect the most will receive a pizza party next week. All donations will buy Thanksgiving dinners for families in our area. This week's pep rally will take place at 6 p.m. Wednesday at the stadium. Make plans to attend and support the football team as it faces New Braunfels Friday night at home. Calling all dancers, come and join the fun. Ballroom dancing is recruiting and needs members. Join us in Miss Price's room, A117, for food and registration today after school. Can't wait to meet you. Genius Hour, a free tutoring service, will be held Mondays and Wednesdays this semester from 4.15 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. in the library. No reservations are needed, no advanced warning required. Just show up and tutors will be happy to help you in whatever class you're struggling in. French Club will meet tomorrow from 4.15 p.m. to 5 p.m. in A104 to prepare for National French Week. All supplies and refreshments will be provided. The French National Honor Society has mailed invitations for eligible students of French, past and present to apply for membership. Applications are due Wednesday, November 8th by 4.30 p.m. Please see Mrs. Hinch in A104 if you have any questions. The French National Honor Society will host its monthly membership meeting on Thursday, November 9th from 7.45 a.m. to 8.15 a.m. in A104. All current and newly selected members are urged to attend. Here's Catherine with an update on World News. Thank you, anchors. Yesterday morning, a gunman opened fire at a Baptist church in Sutherland Springs, just south of San Antonio. Out of the 50 people that attended the service, at least 27 were killed and 24 were injured before the gunman fled the scene and was killed. This is one of the most fatal shootings in modern Texas history and the deadliest shooting at a church in the U.S. in nearly 20 years. Our thoughts and prayers are with the people affected by this tragedy. In more positive news, Shalane Flanagan is the first American woman to win the New York City Marathon in over 40 years. She finished a minute faster than Kenyan Marie Keatney, who had won three consecutive titles. For Flanagan, it's been seven years since she ran the New York race after suffering a fractured lower back and has made a credible recovery. Today is National Saxophone Day and National Nachos Day. And the fact of the day today is the Western Lowland Gorilla's scientific name is Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. Now over to Tim McCarlow with sports. Thank you, Catherine. I'm Tim. And I'm Carlo. SB Cross Country got fifth overall in state. Congrats on all their hard work getting to state. Football currently has a three-way tie for district, as Clemens and Judson are 8-1. and one. Judson had their first loss to Smithson Valley after an amazing overtime win, with the final being 40-37. Their final game will be against New Braunfels and will be played here. Judson will play against Canyon, and Clemens will play against Steele. We'll see if the tie stays or one will come out on top for district. Girls basketball will play at Antonian on Friday. The game will start at 7.30. And now, back to the anchors. Thanks, Tim and Carlo. I'm Logan Hoover. And I'm John Rodriguez. And our thoughts and prayers go out to those affected by the shooting at First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs.